The APSA Cape Epic has reached the halfway point and the racing has been breathtaking thus far. The podiums have been filled with Olympic, world and national champions. This eight-day mountain bike stage race traverses the Western Cape of South Africa, taking in some of the best off-road trails in the world. The pro and amateur teams of two all ride the same course and today has been shortened due to the extreme temperatures, so the total for the event is now 605 kilometers with 16,050 meters of climbing. Stage 4 is the Queen stage, meaning it is incredibly challenging and has spectacular trails. The dual tracks give way to single track, cool runnings, afterwards, the Toyota cliffhanger and Route 66 are legendary rides. They will cover 73 kilometers and climb 2,550 meters before the finish back in Wellington. For the first time on the Wellington start line, we have World Bicycle Relief, Sebastian Finney and Nino Schurter. They are 3 minutes 47 seconds behind the yellow leader's jersey. Toyota Specialized 91 with Howard Grotz and Matt Beers are in second, 147 off the pace. And in yellow for the second day are Buff Megamo, Bart Allemann and Hans Becking with almost 12 and a half hours of racing in their legs. The gun goes on stage 4 of the 20th edition of the APSA Cape Epic. The riders feel the pressure not only of the incredibly tight overall classification, but also of the day that is to come. With temperatures threatening to reach 40 degrees, hydration and nutrition management are going to be imperative. Today's loop out of Wellington is a classic Cape Epic stage and will for sure be a defining moment in the overall. Yesterday's winners, Canyon City with Andreas Sivolt and Mark Stutzman, World Bicycle Relief and Toyota Specialized 91 put the pressure on at the 35km mark. They make some time on the yellow jersey and by the time they reach the Seven Peaks climb, they have a 50 second gap. 2022 Cape Epic champions Obea Liet Speed Company, Georg Egger and Lukas Baum are in the chasing group. They have had a mixed race so far with two difficult days and two podiums. It looks like Buff Megamar are paying the price for the incredible effort on the earlier stages. Aleman, the European marathon champion, has been amazingly strong in the race so far, but the Cape Epic is taking its toll. 47 kilometers into the race and the three teams at the sharp end remain the same. They are working together to increase the gap to the yellow jersey. It now sits at 1 minute and 20 seconds. As the riders reach the legendary cliffhanger, they enjoy some of the best mountain bike trails in the world. Nino Schurter takes the lead with Sebastian Finney on his wheel. This is a masterclass in mountain biking. Beers and Grotz stay in contact, but Canyon City have burned all their matches and lose the wheel. Heading into the Wellington race village, it's down to World Bicycle Relief and Toyota Specialized 91. Schurter and Finney are masters of the sprint, but Beers knows this finish well and makes it as hard as possible for them. The time is taken from the second rider in the team to cross the line, so positioning is everything. Grotz and Schurter cross the line. It's a photo finish for the South African and Danish champions. The win goes to World Bicycle Relief, with Toyota Specialized 91 setting for second. One minute, ten seconds later, Canyon City crossed the line for third, and in sixth place today are Buff Megamo. They have paid the price for the previous stages and are down almost seven minutes today, losing the yellow leader's jersey. The men's elite podium for stage four sees Canyon City in third, Toyota Specialized 91 in second, and today's winners for the second time in this event, World Bicycle Relief, Schurter and Finney. The yellow leader's jersey changes hands for the third time this event. Toyota Specialized 91, Beers and Grotz are the proud new owners by two minutes going into stage five. The RMX Elite Women's category has never been so hotly contested. In third are Toyota Specialized 91 with Sofia gomez Viafan and Samara Shepard. Canadel Factory Racing, Candice Lill and Mona Mitterwalner and just two and a half minutes in the lead are Ghost Factory Racing, Anna Terpstra and Nicole Kohler in the orange leader's jersey. The gun goes for stage four and the pressure is palpable. Cannondale and Toyota Specialized 91 need to put pressure on Ghost if they want to challenge the GC. The podium has looked the same every day so far. Terpstra and Kohler seem to be infallible. Gomez Viafan has wanted to up the pace for the past two stages and it's now her turn to show what she's got. Partner Shepard is getting stronger and stronger as the days go on, but whatever they do is quickly covered by the other two teams. 
Next, it's the turn of Lil from Canada to stress the pace. She has been on fantastic form and really wants this one. Lil has finished second overall four times in the Cape Epic and it has become a familiar story. World Marathon champion Mittervalna isn't on top form, but she has the talent to go with Lil. They keep trying but can't make anything stick. Ghosts have all the answers today. They control the race and lead into the legendary cliffhanger. They are silky smooth through the switchbacks, not taking any risks. All the riders look forward to this part of the course. They won't win the race in this section, but a moment's slip in concentration could be catastrophic. As the riders return to Wellington, they're all vying for position. But eventually, it's Ghost Factory Racing that outmaneuver the other two teams. They play a smart game and cross the line first under four hours and nine minutes. Just two seconds behind, Cannadell and Specialized battle it out, and it's Gomez Viefan and Shepard that take second, with Lil and Mittervalna in third. It's a new order on the podium today. Cannadell Factory Racing, Mona Mittervalna and Candace Lil in third. Toyota Specialized 91, Sofia Gomez Viefan and Samara Shepard for their first second place. And Ghost Factory Racing and Terpstra and Nicole Kola have a clean sweep winning every stage so far. The orange leader's jersey remains with Ghost Factory Racing. They now have just over 2 minutes and 30 seconds on second and almost 8 minutes on third.